We are now live with the Indonesian Amputee Football Association representative, Yuli Setiawati. Hello, good morning, Ma Yuli. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good thank you, morning. Thank you. Looking shiny and bright. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, How so are you? Um, first of all, we would like to congratulate all of you out there as the Indonesian Amputee National Team finally goes to the World Cup 2022. Woohoo! Applause for that. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, Mayuli, could you tell us uh, a little bit, uh, you know, uh, about the story um, about the Indonesian Amputee Football Association? Obviously, it's it's um, you know something something new to reach. So everyone is is in this hype of happiness. Yeah, uh, Indonesia Amputee Football Association was born on March. 2018 yep. and this is the parents organization for football association that profit a special space for person with uh, physical disabilities mm -hmm. uh, amputation and less outrest and in 2020 Indonesia amputee football is registered with the Indonesian Ministry of Law and Human Rights. Right. Mm -hmm. And we already are uh, permanent members of the International Amputee Football Federation. Mm -hmm. The name is WAF. Right. Ah. So, um, Arkrasi, can you tell us, uh, you know, how, um, uh, how the preparation was so far. I mean, you made it. This is 2018, right? Yep. It takes, you know, a lot yep. of different sports. Uh, me as a person in sports, it takes years and years to be able to prepare just to reach the World Cup. So um, what is the story that you finally, you know, could qualify and join qualifiers? Is there, um, uh, you know, and the amount of support that you've been receiving uh, before or perhaps after now that you are flying? What was that like? Oh, when we talk about that, the journey is not easy with limited team condition, limited support, but we never give up. And we success in the ranking second in the East Asia zone. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the new history of Indonesian yes. people for mm -hmm. joining the World Cup. Yes, yeah, for sure. Okay, so um, the journey from the start until they made it to the World Cup, obviously, it is not easy. Now, um, yes. what was like uh, the preparation that you and your team had set up um, so far? Uh, for the preparation, uh, now we have the new coaching team right. already, mm -hmm. and then uh, they have a clear training program mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and support from Indonesia Ministry of Youth and Sport from the Indo One Sport, mm -hmm. from a Serenia Manson Club, Club Sport, and from Spake. And I'm sure this is better than pre-World Cup preparation a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we have a training camp from 25 June until September. Mm. Wow, that certainly is, it looks like a very, very interesting and very jam-packed um, you know, uh, preparation time, yeah. training. You just started the first day of training yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah. out of curiosity, the players, right? The athletes. Um, how, how do you select uh, the athletes? Is it is it from the whole of Indonesia? Did you start off as a, you know, as a small community and then, um, and then you started out growing? But uh, football is hands down one of the most favorite sports here in Indonesia, right? Mm. So to give, you know, people with um, with different abilities to be able to have the chance to play as well. Um, how did you be able to select the players? Uh, the team framework is the player who joined in the Bangladesh Pre-World Cup a few months ago mm -hmm. in the addition to recommendation from the technical director and talent shooting. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, all the players have a club also. They're training regularly. Mm -hmm. Ah, so and now we have, yeah. is the club from all over Indonesia or is it just based in a couple yes, of cities yes. so far? Yes, we have about seven clubs in uh, of our, the Indonesia. Mm, okay. Amazing. So spread it out, right? Yeah. Yep. So yeah. And for the future, uh, mm -hmm. we sure we will have more more club, yeah, because yes. uh, many people is interesting with that now. Yeah, of yeah. course. Now, um, the uh, Mayuli, the national team have actually appointed former Indonesian football player Bayu 
Guntoro. So as um, yeah. he is as the new um, head coach. Now, in your very own opinion, will he be able to actually improve the um, team's performance that you and your team are targeting? I think he will be able to improve the team performance mm -hmm. because uh, we believe in that. And with the presentation, he presented to us for the program he delivered on 25 September. Uh, oh, sorry, for 25 June until September. And he has experience as a player and yeah. coach before. So I, I, I'm very curious in asking this because uh, as, a, as a sports person, do you, uh, are you now, is this like the official uh, channel for the Paralympics? Because we know that, you know, um, you know, the Football Association, uh, the Paralympic Games, and we have Paralympic athletes from Indonesia as well. So uh, is, uh, is this, I mean, this particular World Cup is going to be something very, very big. It's a big opportunity for Indonesia, of course, to be represented in the Paralympics as well. Do yes. you see that happening in the future? Yes. Uh, hopefully, uh, all the preparation can smoothly, and I hope everything uh, was according plan. Okay. And we have the goal also will be in the top five, top ten. Ah yes. So you, who who do you think will be your toughest competition when you arrive in Turkey later? Uh, sorry. Who do you think will be the toughest competition when you arrive in Turkey? Uh, maybe Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a, a home home advantage. There's a, there's always a home advantage when yeah. you're the hosting home. Yeah, because Turkey, there is a, it's a they have a good team. They are uh, have this uh, Amputi football team from long time ago, mm -hmm. and he become a winner from. More than one time, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and Turkey will be not easy for mm. Indonesia. Right. Well, but we certainly are, you know, uh, we certainly are supporting you all the way from here. Okay, mm. so obviously um, you've got your uh, hopes high for um, Indonesia to score the best result uh, that you lead. So uh, we will like to say uh, thank you so very much. Um, you know, for your time Thank this you. morning, it this uh, it was the Indonesian Amputee Football Association Association representative Yuli Setiawati with us this morning. Thank you so very yeah. much, Mayuli. Have a great Thank day you. and all Thank the success you. for all the success. team. Thank Bye you. now.